genuinely can't believe the scale of this place. Also, it's so, so quiet. I don't know what my audio sounds like at the moment, but I feel like I've got to whisper. video in a series about hacking iMovie. iMovie is a great program, it's free if you've got a Mac already, it's pretty powerful. You can export amazing quality videos if you shoot them right. The problem with it usually is it's limited and they do that so that you'll buy Final Cut, obviously. iMovie's free, Final Cut Pro is 300 and something pounds. It makes sense. but I've been playing around with it, I've found some really great hacks, but I needed to get some footage first, so I've come to this place. This place is called Ludd's Church, and it's cavern, no, not caverns, it's like ravines, but the scale of this place is just mind-blowing. I, I saw this place a couple of weeks ago, I was watching videos by Harkon, I think that's how you say it, it's H A A. R-K-O-N um, and they are sort of travel writers, photographers, that kind of thing and they, they just did a video about coming here and when I saw it on that video I like had to come, I'd never really heard about it before, I think I've seen a picture from here so I've just come to get some, some footage here. But mostly just to stand around open mouth, like gazing at the landscape. So I've already done a video on all of the basics of iMovie. It's quite long, it's like half an hour. It's, pr it's pretty decent if you want to just like get the basics down, sort of play along with it. But I'm going to go over a couple of things that maybe I didn't mention in that, that are useful to know. The lighting on me right now isn't that great, but if I spin this camera around, I'm lit from the front now. I'm lit from the front now, and the lighting is much, much better. So that's one thing to look out for. Play to the strengths of your surroundings. If you've got light coming from over there and a beautiful background this way, shoot this way. The other thing I wanted to go into briefly is what's meant by story. And I think that it gets thrown around a lot, but no one really explains it properly. And it doesn't mean tell a fairy tale. It doesn't mean Hollywood scripts. It means have purpose. Go for, if you're going from one place to another, show the journey. That's one thing that makes a really great video, is just showing the progression from introducing an idea through playing it out to resolving that idea, that problem. And a, w a great way to show that is with shots moving through a space. If you want to show progression, show a time lapse. I went over that in the other video. If you want to show moving from one spot to another spot, just show yourself walking like this. You don't have to have the fanciest gear. Location matters so much more than what you shoot it with. You could shoot this with an iPhone, but I've got the gear, so I'm shooting it with this camera. The main tip I'm gonna show you in this video, though, is titles. That's why I've come here to shoot this footage. I'm actually gonna take the drone up and get some footage to start the video off. Obviously, you don't have to do that, but just a little bit of slow-mo video. So like I was saying in the other video, if you've got a camera that can shoot 60 frames per second, which I showed you how to do in, I'm going to link this video up here, I showed you how to do that with your iPhone, pretty much every iPhone for the last like six years has been able to do that, so shoot some slow motion, when you slow it down, which I've shown you how to do in another video, slow it down, it'll smooth out that footage, ideally try and keep it steady as you're doing it, but you should have really nice smooth footage and then you can put some of these 
interesting titles over it. The problem with iMovie is because it's limited, the titles are so limited. You've got really funzy, like, very, like, Microsoft PowerPoint type titles, and they're all, you can't really edit them that much. You can change the font, but you can't really change the positioning and the timing of things. But I'm going to show you a trick so that you can have titles that you can put anywhere. Let's get some of that footage now, though. Hopefully at this point you know how to use something like Canva.com or Photoshop to create an image. What you need to do is create a JPEG with your text or an image on a green background. Save it to your computer. And then import it into iMovie. Once you have it in there, you can add it above your intro footage. And once it's in the timeline, head up to this little icon and select green blue screen. This will automatically remove the green and leave you only with the text or the image. You can leave it like this, or you can head over to the crop icon and choose Ken Burns, then adjust your in and out points. Have a tinker with it and get it to how you like it. This little trick gives you a lot more freedom over the built-in titles, and you can take it a step further and download green screen assets. Search for them on YouTube and download them, and just follow the same steps as you did for the image.